Lowell James was one of the greatest writers and artists of the Wild West. His fame took him from here in southern Saskatchewan all the way to Hollywood. But the most amazing character he ever invented was himself. Will James made cowboys famous. His sketches in his books glorified the Old West. When cowboys rode the open range, and a man's best friend was his horse. Will James wrote about himself. Born in Montana, an orphan young, he worked from ranch to ranch and drew pictures to earn a living. But his story, and even his name, were pure fiction. His real name is Ernest Duvall. Lee's Perot lives in the land of Will James at Valmarie in southwest Saskatchewan, where Will James came to life. His father had a hotel in Montreal, so you'd see these big-hatted cowboys come to the hotel and uh, they got to be his dream to be a cowboy. Dufault left Quebec at 15 with 10 bucks in his pocket. It was 1907. He came to Saskatchewan where he learned to ride and to break horses and to talk like a real cowboy. I think he came here because the western Saskatchewan was very exactly the thing that he was looking for. Eh? Horses and cowboys and big ranches. Dufault took a homestead using the name Will James. He built a shack. But in 1911, he ran into trouble with the law. There was a man killed in a barroom brawl, and they arrested him thinking he had killed the man and put him in jail. And uh, so then they found out the, shortly that it was the bartender that had shot the man. So they let him go, but he hadn't liked his uh, little stay in jail, and he went to the States. James drifted around the American West until he reached Hollywood. He worked as a stunt writer in the movies, sketched horses, and wrote books. Soon he was making a living as a cowboy artist. By 1930, his books were famous and Hollywood was making movies about his life. Well, folks, to my way of thinking, there's something wrong or missing with any person who hasn't got a soft spot in the hearts for animals of some kind. Me, I prefer horses. Will James was one of the most famous cowboys in America. He married a beauty queen. He never told anyone about his roots in Canada, but Perot can see it in his work. He never names a man, he never names a place, and, uh, but from his book, his description, you can pick out a whole bunch of the places. He uh, immortalizes himself in his sketches because every cowboy is hidden, is Ernest de Faux. But his past haunted him. He worried his true identity would surface and he would be branded an imposter. He drank too much and retreated to his ranch in Montana. He died of alcoholism in 1942. He was just 50 years old. Some people say he's an imposter, but uh, Griel was not Griel, and we don't say he's an imposter. It's just to be more into the character that they are trying to be. His stories are all about the old ranches, and he left us a legacy. It's just about like a history. It uh, will keep forever the, the life the way it was then. It's been said the Wild West could make or break a man. For Will James, it did both. It made a character who was larger than life, but broke a man who couldn't live with himself and his secret. For the CBC NewsHour, I'm Bill Wazer.